The last shall be the first, as they say. Um, uh, I'll be brief. I'll be brief for the simple reason that my statement has nothing to do with what we've heard. I'm a historian. I'm not a conservation person. And what I propose is to bring back history into the whole matter because uh, for obvious reasons, you can do very proper conservation without ever dealing with history. And there's nothing wrong with that. What's wrong is at the other end, uh, most of the people who consume this heritage, and I'm thinking especially of tourists, have no notion of history and uh, therefore for there's a historical void that I think needs to be filled if we want to have some kind of a proper policy with respect to, uh, to heritage. And this is especially true in some countries like mine, I come from Istanbul, where the political pressure and the pressure of the market, that is of tourism, is such that it overshadows to a large extent what we should call a, a proper historical take on heritage. Let me give you just a very short example, a very concrete example example, the two most visited uh, monuments of Istanbul are Hagia Sophia, uh, the Byzantine... Sorry. I don't... Oh, yeah, that's, that's me. Uh, okay. Um, um, Hagia Sophia, which is um, the Byzantine uh, um, uh, basilica, which you probably all know. The other is Topkapı Palace, the palace of the, the imperial palace of the Ottoman dynasty. Uh, they're visited there uh, by approximately five million people every year, more or less equally the two, for all the wrong reasons. Uh, the Western tourist goes uh, to uh, Hagia Sophia to uh, admire the remains of a long, lost uh, Byzantine Christian civilization. Uh, Turks visiting Hagia Sophia uh, lament over the museification of what they sh think should be a trophy of their conquest of the city of Constantinople in 1453. Uh, for the uh, Palace of Topapu, it's the exact reverse in the sense that Europeans go and visit it because they want to find the exoticism and eroticism of some kind of an Orientalist uh, fantasy, and the Turks visit it because they think it is the glorification of their own past. So in the middle of these two monuments lies uh, the, the archaeological museum, which receives approximately a tenth of what these two monuments receive in terms of tourists. And half of those are chain gangs of uh, grade schools, uh, uh, students who are forced to go there as part of their educational uh, program. So there is a problem. And this problem has to do with the fact that history has become marginalized to the point of becoming unaccessible to the political intentions of a government and a state or the market orientations of a tourist-driven uh, um, heritage, understanding of heritage. In the Turkish case, I can assure you that the way in which uh, Turkish history has completely eaten up its Ottoman past and everything that came before it, negating, in a sense, anything that was not Turkish or Islamic, is an extremely destructive process that has done much more, I think, in terms of harm uh, to the heritage than any warm, any seismic, or any other natural or man-made catastrophe. Because what politics does to you and what ideology and this distortion of history does is a very insidious way of basically diverting the choices and the priorities in a field that is absolutely crucial uh, towards what is considered to be part of the grand narrative. And you have, therefore, a division of the whole thing between the grand narrative of the nation viewed by Turkish politicians and by Turkish nationalism. And then you have the grand narrative of a Eurocentric uh, European vision of world civilization. These two narratives are squeezing the reality of history out of uh, heritage. I think what universities need to do, therefore, is to bring back history and good history in order to have a less biased and a more uh, concrete understanding of what this heritage stands for and try to correct all the wrongs that have been done to this day. Otherwise, we end up with a situation, as I said, where the uh, government is manipulating history to promote its own vision of things and the West is turning uh, Turkey or other countries into some kind of a provider of raw materials for a Western-centered uh, uh, narrative of history, which is also something that completely dissociates the local population from that heritage. Thank you.